This extension is the Elasticsearch operation. As you can see here, we have a create and delete flow. We also have an Elastic instance with no indices currently. So firstly, in the create flow, we have an action uh, which is on every create items in the collection posts. And then it's going to forward to our Elasticsearch operation. Here you'll notice we've configured the remote Elasticsearch in instance with the API key. I will be deleting those afterwards just in case. You can also define the collection dynamically, so the index created within Elasticsearch will be dynamically created. So each collection can have its own, you can have them prefixed, suffixed, or you can have a shared index for multiple collections. In this instance, we're, having, we're using the create action so that it's going to add additional documents to the index with our key and the constructed uh, data we want to send over. This allows us to define what information we do or do not want to share from any given item to the index. So just to test, we are going to go and add another document. So here we're going to go, hello world, new search in Elastic Search. What is Elastic Search? And what's the data sent? I'm going to just put it as published because I can. Adding an adding a image from our library. Let's pick the fusion uh, the director's logo actually, and save. So we have now saved our item. We're going to go over to our index, our post index with one new document. If we go in, we can then see that we have our document with its title and its content, but because we didn't send over the hero image, it doesn't contain it. And we can also do the same with delete. So we delete the item from here. There we go. We have deleted the item. And that should delete from our index, which is brilliant. We can also update a document within the index as and when it happens.